Hello students, welcome to my class of computer science for 11th class. Today the content are as follow, which is based on programming. Okay, so today we'll do the only program. Okay, on the basis of that, I will give some homework and program also. So first content we'll understand today to a program to compare five number to check the which one is greater or bigger number. Second one thing, we will check the marriage eligibility according to the person gender. If the person is male, then the marriage age should be more than 21 year otherwise if female then more than 18 years so let's begin student to do that student we have to open a python ideally and then after that i have to open a particular file in a script mode by that i can save this particular file and i can use further use so first of all i make the comment for the program that make the objective i that actually make the objective or clear the objective of the program that is a program for compare five numbers okay to check which one is bigger so first of all we will do one thing we will ask the user to enter the number on the basis of number one as typecast by integer so here i am using python python 2.7 you can use input if you are using python 3. plus version so here i am going to use raw input inside that i will ask the user please enter the value for number one okay same thing i will do number two or we can do one thing student i can uh, make the variable like abc okay so it will better for all of us to understand it well so here a so same thing here i will type integer that is raw input i'll type here input the number for b okay and then c integer that is raw input inside that input the number for c next one d integer that is raw input here input the number for d at last now the next one variable that is e here is int raw input inside that input the number for e okay so this particular code is basically designed for getting the input from the user in a console okay and now i'm going to provide here logic so a part of the code i will mention here the comment to make it understand that is logic so i will use if condition within that i will say that if a is bigger than b i am going to use the logical operator and because logical operators are allow us to combine more than one condition in a particular comparison block so here i am going to just use and so a is bigger than b then a is bigger than what thing c and a is bigger than d at last a is bigger than a i can say that all are condition if all condition are true then i can print i will say a is bigger value okay friend same thing i will do elif condition i will come out to the what thing intent so you have to just press enter and press backspace elif within that i will say that i will compare b b bigger than a and b bigger than i will not compare with b i will compare than say okay and b 
bigger than D and uh, B is bigger than also C. So I can say that print condition in that I will say B is bigger value. Okay, and then I will again provide her condition by elif let f. Now C is bigger than A and uh, C is bigger than B and uh, C is bigger than D and uh, C is bigger than E. Okay, then I can print simply C is what thing? Bigger value. Okay, and now I will talk about elif that I am to say D variable. So if D is bigger than A, D is bigger than definitely B and D is bigger than C, D bigger than E. So I will say that I am to say I will print it under the intent of the this elif part. Here is D is what thing? Bigger value. Okay. And at last we are talking about E. So now else part because we are not using any condition else so we have to directly use uh, if all condition are false then we can say that print here is e is bigger value okay and at last we can say end of program Okay, and run it. Now I'm going to just save it by bigger one. So now you can see this will open in front of you. Suppose that we are going to make uh, A is bigger than all. So 100, 10, 1, and here is suppose that 9, and here is 0. So it will show A is bigger value. Okay, and now I'm going to just compare another value that means to say fifth next second condition suppose that is b is 100 c is suppose that 12 45 and 9 so now you can say b is bigger value okay and now if i'm going to compare another case that means to say if i'm going to make the c is bigger value 12 21 90 45 or 54 okay and 78 now you can see that c is bigger value okay so now next one we are going to make uh, what thing d is bigger value so 12 23 this one thing 90 here is 8 so here is d is bigger value among them and now i'm going to make e is bigger value among them so what i'm going to do 1 2 3 9 and here is suppose that 90 so e is bigger value okay so last situation student i'm going to just compare Suppose that if I'm going to A is bigger than B, okay, suppose that A is bigger than B, okay, good. And now, but A is smaller than C. So here, suppose that 1000, okay, and D suppose that 89, what, whatever, and here's 9. So it, this time C is bigger value. So we have understand student how to compare this particular number of the values, okay, with the help of logical operators, which combines the more than one comparison together and treat as a one expression okay suppose that if your number of the values are in huge amount suppose that 50 number if you are going to compare so that time we have to use another logic okay we will talk it later so now we are going to understand the next one program of the day which is to check the marriage eligibility of the person according to the gender okay if it is if that one thing is male then after 21 year if it particular female 18 year otherwise invalid what thing gender okay so what we have to do student we are going to just create a new program okay uh, to compare the gender also so what i'm going to do so i'm going to open a new new file student so i will make sure that uh, comment to clear my objective of the program so a program to check what can say pro uh, to check age for marriage okay student so what i'm going to do
first of all i will as a user the input content with the help of variables which should be meaningful so here gen as a variable so it will ask the user please input your gender either m or n okay student so what i am going to do so first of all i will ask the user through the raw input i do not need to type cast it because i want this particular gender in a one single character either m or n or that is f okay so raw input so here message will be same okay m or f male or female okay so here after that user will enter the gender and then after that our logic starts from here okay student so first of all i will compare whether the input gender is male or female so gen double equals to within single code if i'll type that is m here user can enter small letter as capital letter also so i'll type here or gen double equals to that is small m okay student now i can say that please enter your what thing age so after that i will ask the user enter the age okay so here i will type cast it and the raw input within that i will ask the user please enter your age okay and then i will uh, under the intent inside this intent i will check whether if it is is bigger than 21 okay and then i will type here what thing you are eligible for marriage otherwise in this else part i will say sorry you have to wait you have to wait for some here now after that elif part in that i will okay stan now i will come ba come back to the particular intent and then i will type elif within the at this elif i will check gen again which may be a female again or gen equals to within small case female then i will do one thing student i will copy the same thing paste it here and i will change the condition here that is after 18 okay and then at last suppose that user enter the different one thing that is print invalid uh, gender so i'm going to just run it save this okay some double equals to i forgot here okay and then i'm going to compare it now it will ask me whether you are male or female Let's suppose that i have enter capital m so here is suppose at 22 so here congratulation okay and i am going to just compare this on program and i am going to enter the male in small case it will ask me what thing age again 23 year that going to say okay and if i am going to compare it okay suppose that here is male again capital small no need to worry about that suppose that 21 or lesser than 21 suppose that i am going to just enter so sorry you have to wait for somewhere okay 
and now I'm going to just again enter mail and 21 it will again ask me so sorry because 21 is not a particular age after 21 age so now I'm talking about the female gender okay student okay so here capital F or small f so here uh, 19 years so you are ready for that okay and now again capital F okay small f that is 20 years that is ready for that okay and for example female that is 18 year or lesser than 80 sorry so I am again female 17 sorry at last uh, suppose that user enters some another variable so invalid gender so student we have learned today how to write a program to compare five different values to which we check which one is bigger and second one program okay how to check the marriage eligibility according to gender and age combination and now we are talking about the question homework section so this is question and homework section for you all student so first of all thing you have to write a program for the day okay in your class of copy what you have done today and then second part write a program to check whether the entered a year by user leave year or not okay that is 365 is normal year then 366 days of year is known as leave year okay according to that you have to search or check whether given number of year i'm to say 99 2000 whatever year input by user is leave year or not and next one thing write a program to find out the absolute value of the given number by user okay student absolute number minus uh, whenever user enter the minus 5 it will find out the plus 5 okay if user enter the 5 marks it will say you have already entered the absolute number value okay and now question number 4 write a program to check whether the given number is even or not even means 2 4 6 8 like that so uh, user can be enter any value okay it may be in negative or positive you know, both okay and the program will check whether the given number by user in a console is even or not i hope you will do well student till then thank you and have a nice day